In previous videos, we talked about some of the different factors which influence carbocation stability. And they primarily were substitution pattern and resonance, as well as adjacent lone pairs, but that's not gonna come up in today's video. What I've put here is a relative ranking of the different carbocation stabilities. And what we're gonna do in this video is apply this relative ranking of carbocation stabilities to answer some fairly simple, straightforward SN1 questions. So on the far left here, we've got a methyl carbocation. This is the least stable. And as we go up from methyl, we go to primary, which is about the same stability as a vinyl, which is this double bond here, and phenyl. And then going up one level of stability, we come to secondary as well as primary allylic. So this is primary, but it has resonance stabilization and benzylic, which is also primary, but has resonance stabilization. And then the top of the list here is tertiary. So tertiary is the most stable carbocation on this list. But like I said, there's two key factors to think about. So carbocation stability is gonna be influenced by substitution pattern and also by resonance. So substitution and resonance. So in this video, I've put together three really quick and fairly straightforward exercises, just asking which of these substrates is gonna be more reactive in the SN1 reaction. So to think back, what is the key step in the SN1 reaction? What's the big barrier in the SN1 reaction? And then ask yourself, which of these are gonna be more reactive? So while you're thinking about that, press pause, work on it yourself, and when you're ready, press play. Okay, so the key barrier in the SN1 reaction is carbocation stability. And of course, we wouldn't be talking about carbocation stability in the SN1 if, in this video if it wasn't important. So carbocation stability is the sort of big barrier, if you will, the most important factor to think about in the SN1. So in the first step of the SN1, recall that the first thing that happens is the leaving group leaves. Okay, the leaving group leaves and we're gonna form a carbocation. So in this case, if we had our leaving group leave on the far left, we would form a vinyl carbocation. And if the leaving group left in this case, we would obtain a primary allylic carbocation. So primary allylic, which is actually right here, primary allylic. So this is going to be more stable than the vinyl carbocation. So this is gonna be more reactive in the SN1 reaction. Okay, let's look at the next example. So we have um, two substrates here and let's, let's draw out what the carbocations would be in each case. So on the far left, we have it's primary carbon and we lose the bromine. So that would give us this. Now, some students might, might think the first thing they see is they see that double bond there and might think, oh, okay, well, this is gonna be resonance stabilized, but actually it's not. If you think about what the structure of this molecule is, you have the CH2 in between the double bond, and actually this double bond can't, can't access this carbocation here to stabilize it. So this is actually just a primary carbocation. And if we lose the bromide ion here, we obtain this species, which is a secondary carbocation. So secondary is more stable than primary on our list, so this is gonna be more stable. Okay, let's look at this last example. So we're going to lose our iodide in this example, and this is going to give us this H and also positive charge. So this is a secondary carbocation, and it's also next to a benzyl group or phenyl group, my, my mistake, phenyl, and it's going to be therefore resonance stabilized. And if we lose an iodide from this group on the right, this is going to give us this carbocation, which is secondary. So this is secondary resonance stabilized and secondary. Now I don't have secondary resonance stabilized on the list. I don't have secondary allylic or secondary benzylic, but 
knowing the two key factors which influence carbocation stability, substitution and resonance. We can apply our knowledge of, of this to say that, okay, they're both secondary, but this one is resonance stabilized. So this one is going to be more reactive in the, the SN1 reaction. So those two factors which exist to help stabilize carbocations, substitution and resonance, this video is just about how to apply those factors in thinking about which substrates are going to be more reactive in the SN1 reaction. So if you understand carbocation stability, then you're going to have a really good idea of how to apply uh, those factors to understand which substrates are going to be more reactive in the SN1 reaction.